Hey everyone, just a quick afternoon video update on Tropical Depression 9. You can see throughout the early morning hours today there was a big burst of convection, but if you look at the last few frames, it looks like that's beginning to weaken. And you can't see it here, but on the visible satellite, it looks like the low level center may be partially exposed on the northwest side of that convection. The hurricane hunters will be flying a mission out there within a couple of hours this afternoon to see if uh, Tropical Depression 9 has formed into our next tropical storm. The overall forecast thinking from the National Hurricane Center hasn't changed. It's moving towards a west-northwest at 7. Uh, sometime during the next 12 to 18 hours, we expect it to turn towards the north and then off to the northeast later tomorrow as, as it accelerates towards the big bend of Florida as a tropical storm. Right now, the National Hurricane Center forecasts winds to reach 60 miles per hour before landfall and then strengthen a little bit further once it's off the shore of the Carolinas as we get into Friday and Saturday. Uh, for those of you along the Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina coastlines, you know, keep your eye on this. The track could be nudged just a little, a little more towards the north based on some of the latest data we're seeing. You're still within the cone of uncertainty. So and really, uh, cities like Gainesville, Jacksonville, you could see winds sustained about 55, 60 miles per hour, especially if that center does track um, down the middle of the cone as currently forecasted. So no big changes today, no, no changes with the intensity or forecast. We still expect this to become a tropical storm soon. And uh, we will keep you updated with the very latest on Tropical Depression 9. And thank you for using the Hurricane Tracker app.